Hello everybody, I'm Blaze Rebecca and welcome back to Ace Academy and uh, we're here dialing the for trying to phone Yuna. I dial Yuna's number, she sees me out breath when she answers. Hello? Hey Yuna, checking out any new cups today? She chuckles. Nope, I've decided on what I want to do. Oh! Oh really, what did you choose? Tennis! I grin. <laughs> I called it! Is that what you're doing now? Actually, I decided to participate in the Tennis Open League today. Does that mean you're going to try out for the school league next year? Maybe. <clears throat> I'm not sure yet. It's still a huge time commitment. But I can always drop in on club matches. Want to come watch? I recall how you schooled me in tennis last time we played. There's no chance that this will be a boring event. Sure, I'll meet you at the courts. Okay, see you soon. We hang up the phone and I make my way to the rec center. Come on. The event has a strong turnout and while the spectator space is not as large as our other venues, it's more than half of the seats are filled. <coughs> I scan the crowd of students lining the tennis courts in search of Yuna. She's off on her own, leaning into a runner's stretch. Hey, Yuna! Her face lights up when she sees me. Saving. You're here! Thanks for coming! I wasn't going to miss out on another chance to watch you wipe the floor with your opponents. <clears throat> she laughs. It won't be so easy this time. I recognize some of the students from the Ace Tennis League. There's a good chance I'll have to play against them. I take another look at the students holding tennis rackets. Most of them keep to themselves. They wear solemn faces and quietly stretch. A small group of students are gathered into a circle. Those must be the League members. I don't think I know who any of them are. Yuna pauses and points out the ones she recognizes. That girl with short hair is also a second year, and a pretty strong player on the team. She's actually from my hometown. We trained together in high school. Well, where are the odds of that? The girl is one of the only students with a smile on her face. She rolls her wrist and lets her racket hang loosely by her side. The guy to her left is a first year. He just made it onto the team, so he's still in training. As Yuna gives me the stats on her opponents, her demeanor changes. Her posture relaxes and her eyes glance alertly around the court. She'd fit right in with the rest of the <laughs> rest of us in the pre-combat room if she were a pilot. And that small guy beside them is actually their star player. Really? I glance skeptically at him. Looks like a high schooler who's still waiting to go through puberty. Oh wow! Yeah, he's a third year and captain of the tennis team. In fact, she. Yuna points out to the first girl. We'll probably take his place as captain next year. He's also left-handed. Oh. And that means... I should have worked harder on my backhand. So it sounds like those, those few are the only real challenge here. That's only as far as I know. <clears throat> there may be some hidden diamonds nobody knows about. Maybe. Uh... They'll do great anyway, you know what? <clears throat> well, even if they aren't, you don't have to worry about them. I've seen firsthand what you can do, and I know you're, you'll win this thing. She blushes. Ah. Thanks. Spectators are being ushered to their seats as the organizers announce them for the first match out. Oh, hi, uh, yeah. I better go so I can claim a good seat. You and not. And if you lose, don't get discouraged. The first few runs are between students I don't know. I have hardly watched the matches as they all kind of bleed together. Finally, Yuna's first match is up. I sit up in my seat and wave as she walks onto the court. She smiles in acknowledgement. Her opponent is a random student I don't recognize. I settle back into my seat. This will probably be a quick match, but I don't know. We never know. Oh, okay. As I predicted, Yuna demolished the poor guy. Oh. <laughs> Soon the second round matches begins and Yuna is pit against the first year team league player. He scowls at Yuna, but she seems undisturbed. Um, I would be disturbed. <clears throat> In the end, Yuna demolished him too. He stomps off the stage as I cheer along with the rest of the crowd for Yuna. Well, there's no need to be a Debbie Downer. Or, you know, whatever. When she's matched with the girl from the tennis team, the two of them nod in respect for each other. Well, at least she knows how to be respectful. Yuna grips her racket tightly. A look of concentration replaces the smile on her opponent's face. Oh. They're more evenly matched. 
I assume because they are they're used to each other's styles and know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Although Yuna seems to, claims to be out of practice, she still comes out victorious with the two point lead. Yes, go Luna, Yuna. Finally, the two main contenders are Yuna and the third year captain of the Ace Tennis League. Uh oh. Even from my seats, Yuna seems to tower over him, but he is unfazed. Well, that's the captain of the Ace Tennis Team for ya. League. The rain of the rackets as Yuna gives the first serve. Just like when I played against her, her racket. Her racket connects with the ball in a resounding crack. Speeds across the net in a blur, but her opponent seems to be waiting for the ball and easily returns her serve. They continue to volley the ball back and forth. I lean forward in my seat, holding my breath. Oh boy. <coughs> he strikes towards Yuna's left and her backhand misses. The audience lets out a collective gasp. The match is the most engaging as the two of them dart across the court. They are tied and this last point wins the match. Ultimately, Yuna misses another backhand strike and her opponent is named the victor. Ugh, oh, damn it. <clears throat> I race back down I race back down to the courts. Yuna and the captain are speaking. As I approach, I catch the tail end of the conversation. Did you try out for the league this year? Yuna shakes her head. No, I was focused on my studies and was worried the league might be too much of a time commitment. No wonder I haven't seen you play before. I'll admit, I was really impressed by your skills. They couldn't just have his normal name there. They had to have Tennis Captain Ryoma Ichizan. I don't know if I said that right. Sorry if I butchered that. But no, they had to have the Tennis Captain in there. You should try out for the league next year. I'm positive you'll make it onto the team. Yuna smiles politely. Thank you for the offer. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I hope you do. He glances my way, then politely excuses himself. Hey, Yuna. She rolls around to face me. Oh, hey. Hi. You're great out there. Thanks, but I didn't win. Ah, I know. No, but, but, but you and the freaking captain of the tennis league were neck neck for the majority of the match. I know. I thought she would finally realize just how impressive that was and crack a smile, but she frowned and said, Ugh, if only I'd practiced my backhand. I know I could have beaten him in his smug face. Wow, <laughs> his smug face. Uh, wow. I knew Yuna was competitive, but I had no idea she was this competitive. Uh, let's try, you know what, I, I, I don't know. Let's just try and calm her down. You've been out of the game for a while, but you still manage to club the, the rest of the team. If tennis is what you decide to take up as your extracurricular, then I'm positive y'all have a chance to play against him again. Yuna perks up. Okay. You're right. Let's see how he likes a taste of my backhand. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't word it like that. Um, yeah, when you think about it like that, then... Well, it looks like everyone is leaving. Uh, yeah, we should probably leave too. Yeah, exactly! Exactly how I worded it! <laughs> yeah, we should probably leave too. <laughs> what are the odds of that? I'm going to go to the lockers and shower. Thanks for coming out again. Sure, yeah. This was fun. She smiles. I'll see you later. I would have thought, I would have thought when I had said calm her down, it was like, hey, let's for, let's uh, like forget about it. Let's go get an ice cream or something. But this time, don't drop yours. I say my goodbyes and we head our separate ways. My phone vibrates in my pocket. When they go to answer, I see Sho is calling me. Hey, Sho. Rosa, I'm so glad you picked up. I need your help. He sounds like he does. Are you okay? No, I'm in dire need of assistance. Uh, I better not be for something stupid. It's probably gonna be, though. What's going on? Do you have any experience buying a gift? Ah. For a lady friend? Okay, okay, that's not actually that bad. Um. Uh, it's like, um, do I? Uh, hell no. We all know your lady friend is Mayu. There's no answer for just a second the show speaks. It still feels kind of surreal. I get it. So it is Mayu. <laughs> so, does that mean you'll help? Can't leave my bro hanging. Show size and relief. You are the best brosif a bro could have. Come meet <clears> me at the mall. The best brosif a bro could have. Great wording. I'll be right there.
Let me just get on my back. Okay, yeah, I know. Full scan and complete. I don't care. I hang up the phone and head to my bike. Now I drive directly to the mall. Okay, this is the first time being in the mall, and it looks awesome. <laughs> After I park, I see a show waiting for me at the main entrance. He greets me with his usual goofy grin, but his hair is disheveled and there's worry in his eyes. Thanks for meeting me. I don't even know where to start. She likes music. <clears throat> hmm. It's just jewelry, stuffed animals, chocolate, books. Hmm. I don't know if she's big on jewelry yet. Although... Hmm. Though, I don't know. Books seems like kind of a boring thing. Like, especially in Show's case. I don't know. Like, I like to think sh chocolate or stuffed animals would be... The hmm. <clears throat> you know what? What girl doesn't love the cute stuffed animal? Get a cute fuzzy animal. I'm pretty sure Mayu's dad would not approve of her devoting even less energy to her studies. Not a real animal. A toy one. Show looks thoughtful. You think she'd like that? All girls like a cute, fuzzy animal. A stuffed one. <laughs> like a doll. Oh yeah, trust me, Nikki's room is filled with them. And most girls do like them. Good thinking, Brosif. Let's go. He leads the way to the store. What's this gift for anyway? It's our one month anniversary. Uh, hold on. I have... Wow, time sure <coughs> flies by fast. Has it been a month already? I feel like it was just yesterday that we fought, fought May's team. I know, me too. Time seems to pass in a click, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I've never heard that saying before. Anyway, congrats on your one month. Thanks. I'm actually kind of <coughs> surprised by how it happened. <coughs> uh -huh. How did it happen? It came out of the blue. Mayu and I were hanging out as usual the Monday after our match with mm -hmm. Onabugeisha, and I could <clears> tell something was <throat> on her mind. Not really. When I asked her what was wrong, she blurted out a question about feelings. It was so unlike her that I was too shocked to speak. <clears throat> Mayu didn't even hesitate, and she started talking about how she's liked me since we were kids, and she wanted to know if I felt the same way or if I was into someone else. No. Show laughs. I guess she saw me walking around <clears throat> Hitomi and <throat> thought we were dating. Silly, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Well, there was also basically a whole other hint of clues everywhere that even I didn't realize. She looks sheepish. Sheepish. I started laughing as soon as she said that, and I know I embarrassed her, but I couldn't help it. I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. I don't blame you. As if I could ever like anyone else. So you like her. <laughs> I blink. Really? Well, yeah. Why do you sound so surprised? It was obvious how Mayu felt about you, but you never seemed to notice. Show's cheeks flush. I noticed. Of course I noticed. Did you? Did you really? Then why... She's so smart and pretty and awesome. She's way out of my league. Ah. Uh, she was head over heels for you. It's still hard for me to believe that. <laughs> That's why this gift is so important. No wonder he seems so agitated. Mayu will love whatever you get her. The fact that you're buying her a present at all will make her happy. Sho smiles worriedly. For it, worriedly. You think? Yeah. Of course. Still, it has to be perfect. Well, most girls love a stuffed, a, a stuffed animal. I nod. On that note, we better get back to searching. Right. <clears throat> I shall help Sho pick out the perfect gift for his, gift for his lady friend. He ended up going with my advice and buying her a teddy bear. Ah. As we exit the store, Sho has a spring in his step, but he seems both nervous and hopeful. I hope she ends up liking your present. Oh, I hope so too. We say our goodbyes in the parking lot. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be fine. I think she'll love it. Since I don't have class, didn't have class day, I got even more free time than usual. Why I feel like doing? Um, saving no. And I'll be back with more. See ya! <clears throat>